Hello, future starter. If you're hearing this message, you have been selected and revived to take part in the Aperture Science Virtual Reality Testing Initiative. Before the exercise can begin, you will need to complete the Virtual Reality Headset Calibration Course and determine your ability, or lack thereof, to move. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, engage your atrophied neck muscles and look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, turn around and face the server farm behind you. Good. These servers are responsible for running the infinite, intricately detailed virtual worlds in which you will be free to explore. To maintain a steady, immersive, virtual reality experience, the servers are permanently cooled to a pleasant... Warning! Servers at 500 Kelvin. Fire detected in Aperture Science Virtual Reality Server Farm. Please ignore the uncontrollable inferno raging in front of you. It is not important and is not part of the test. An Aperture Science Emergency Rapid Fire Response Team has been notified. The proximate arrival in 5 minutes and 30 years. Remain calm. Do not look at the fire and turn around again. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, press the red button on your Aperture Science Instant Teleportation Device, AIM, and pull the trigger to teleport. Good. If your Aperture Science Instant Teleportation Device begins to vibrate, it may be going nuclear. Place the device on the ground and alert your nearest virtual reality nuclear supervisor. This concludes the virtual reality headset calibration course. You are now a fully qualified virtual reality interactive engineer and may coexist peacefully with other virtual beings. Congratulations. Before the virtual reality exercise can begin, additional mandatory regulations require Aperture Science to remind you that under no circumstances should the headset and or the Aperture Science instant teleportation device be submerged or otherwise fully in motion. And no point for this exercise to do everything to accomplish that the Aperture Science teleportation device or not to the virtual reality experience may use any perception of the real virtual worlds. Please play with these points. Those are the actual numbers. So please read these points. Good. Beginning VR exercise. This exercise utilizes the Aperture Science Instant Teleportation Device and the Apparatus Retrieval Tool in unison. Aim your Aperture Science Apparatus Retrieval Tool at a weighted storage cube. Well done. You have proven that you can follow simple instructions. Warning. Fire in virtual reality server farm spreading to VR area. If you feel a burning sensation on your back, please ignore it and continue testing. Due to the likelihood of fusion between human and cube, teleportation while holding a cube is forbidden and is in fact illegal. Good. You solved 3.52 megabytes of science. This exercise involves the material emancipation grill, which will vaporize any unauthorized material that passes through it, including, but not limited to, cubes, pacemakers, and treasured job. Congratulations. Scanners indicate that you only lost 7. This next test involves the Aperture Science Vertical Elevation Transportation Pad. You may feel some discomfort while using the transportation pad. All human testing candidates gave the pad a pain rating of 11 out of 10. Well done. You may now rate the discomfort you felt while using the transportation pad. Warning. Virtual reality stability at 25%. Please observe the red hexagonal grill. This teleportation displacement field will prevent you from teleporting through it. Good. Studies have shown that the color red is 75%. This test involves both the material emancipation grill and the teleportation displacement field. Good luck.
progress was not hindered in the slightest. This exercise involves lasers and laser redirection cubes. In the event that it does not, please assume the emergency submission position in the corner of the room and await your emergency testing supervisor. Good. The test did in fact contain lasers and laser redirection cubes. Alsjeblieft op met de dodelijke turrets. Indien u geen code 5 heeft meegenomen naar deze test, kunt u mogelijk problemen hebben. Warning: Localization error. Please take care when interacting with deadly turrets. If you do not have a Kevlar vest on the way in, you may experience some difficulty. during this test. Please try not to bleed. Do not be alarmed. In the Warning! Server corruption at 90%. Welcome to the advanced laser redirection test. This is very similar to the last laser test, only harder. to grasp advanced laser re Welcome to the final test. You must now use all of the skills you have learned so far. If you cannot remember any of the skills you have learned so far, this test may be particularly challenging. Warning. Thermal sensors indicate that the fire is beginning to melt your skin. Remain calm. The faster you solve this test, the faster you can return to the real world and preserve what remaining flesh you still have. Congratulations! You have solved the final test. You have proven yourself to... Virtual Reality Hub at 7% Structural Integrity. Welcome back, Future Starter. Thank you for completing the VR training course. You have been in Virtual Reality for 2056 days. When you are ready, Please look up at the ceiling, as you are about to be killed by falling debris.
Welcome back, Future Starter, and congratulations on completing the Ancillary Psychological Evaluation course. You are, in fact, not dead, and your friends are... Here and after, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine to do all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between years and a generous helping of the you're fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I can work with this. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They float in the air, but in fact, no. Plus, we can keep going onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least ten of the bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, ninety tests. We can test whatever we want to, and beat that other company into the ground. Those guys can kiss my back. Anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they wet their pants and they threw them out the door. I hate the bills. I make the decisions around here. I hire a fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months. So, you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests. The Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Realization Vault. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Got to have an hour at most if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry. We ain't got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. <laughs> 